In 2004, Vanisha Mittal, the daughter of an Indian billionaire, and Amit Bhatia, a British Indian businessman, made history with their wedding. It was recorded as the most expensive wedding ever in the Guinness Book of Records, costing about $78 million. But now, 20 years later, what happened to them and what happened during their seven-day wedding? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Let's get started. Recently, couples in love are increasingly abandoning the idea of lavish weddings. Some limit themselves to a wedding ceremony at the registry office, others to a modest dinner with their family, and still others spend everything they have saved up on an unforgettable honeymoon. But in this world, there are still those who don't even know the meaning of the word saving and spend so much money on the wedding ceremony that they later end up not only in all the media headlines, but also in the Guinness Book of Records. Let's look at Venetia as an example. She was born not even with a silver, but a platinum diamond spoon in her mouth. Her father, Lakshmi Mittal, is a metallurgical magnate and one of the richest people in the world. In 2004, Forbes ranked him as the fourth wealthiest individual in India, with a net worth of $11 billion. He has built the world's second largest steelmaking company. Lakshmi Mittal has only two children, a son and a daughter. Both of them always pleased him with success. They studied and worked a lot, so the father was always proud of their achievements. Lakshmi Mittal dreamed that the heiress would continue his work, but she did not even think of rebelling against the fate prepared for her and decided that since high positions awaited her, she must correspond to them. Venetia graduated from school, received a higher education, defended her MBA degree at the European Business School, and then came to work in her father's company. The year 2004 was truly fateful for her. She became a member of the board of directors of Arcolor Middle and also got married to her love, Amit Bhatia. For such devotion to the family business, a caring parent promised her not a mansion or a sports car, but a dream wedding. They say, ask for what you want and don't deny yourself anything. And Venetia took 100% advantage of the opportunity given to her. The lovers decided to have their wedding not in India, but in the most romantic city in the world, Paris. Amit Bhatia is a British businessman with Indian roots. He is also well-educated and successful in his career. He is the founding partner of Swordfish Investments and chairman of Queen's Park Rangers Football Club. The future bride and groom met in childhood and became a wonderful couple. The happy parents decided to arrange a grandiose celebration for the lovers, more luxurious than the royals arranged. This wasn't just any wedding. It was the wedding of the century. Just imagine, six days of fun and celebration in Paris's Versailles, more than a thousand guests from all over the world. Among them are Shah Rukh Khan, Kylie Minogue, Aishwarya Rai, and Akshay Kumar. Can you believe it? Thousands of bottles of champagne and dozens of kilograms of caviar. By the way, not a single journalist was invited to the wedding, and we're not sure about the exact amount the billionaire spent on his daughter's wedding. Estimates suggest it could be anywhere from 60 to $78 million. About a thousand guests received an invitation to the ceremony, but not just cards with the date, place, and dress code wishes, but real treasures. The bride and groom sent each guest a silver box with 20-page notebooks filled with enthusiastic compliments and persuasions to attend the celebration. Vanisha and Amit also took care of all the logistics. They rented 12 Boeings that flew between India and France and rented all 600 rooms of the Intercontinental Paris Hotel, not just for the night, but for six long days. Guests stepped off the private plane, arrived at the hotel, and were greeted there by drummers dressed in national costumes, showering everything in their path with flower petals. The guests were immediately warned. We would celebrate for a week. In between parties, they could relax in the spa and not worry about their looks at all. Each was provided with a personal hairdresser and makeup artist. On the first day of the wedding, the invitees, albeit only women, were in for another surprise. Before entering the banquet hall, they received Gucci or Prada bags as gifts. This is already pleasant in itself, but that's not all. 
Having opened the castle, delighted guests discovered jewelry inside. A kind of compliment from the bride and another way to demonstrate your well-being, just in case someone else doesn't understand. Venetia Mittal also did not spare diamonds on herself. They flaunted not only in the necklace, earrings, and tiara, but also in the fabric of the wedding dress, which sparkled so much that it could be seen from space. The entertainment program was not particularly original, but a lot was spent on it too. The guests were shown a film about the love story of the newlyweds. The script for it was written by one of the Bollywood directors. Then professional actors read poems about love, and the perfect end to the first day of the ceremony was a live performance by Kylie Minogue. The singer's concert was a surprise for Venetia from her beloved dad. Over the next few days, guests gorged themselves on delicacies and made sure their glasses never ran out of champagne. They did this in the Tuileries Garden, in the legendary Versailles, in the Baroque Palace of Vaux-le-Vicomte, and the Park of Saint-Cloud. And every evening in honor of Vanisha and Amit, fireworks were arranged near the Eiffel Tower. This festive marathon ended with a Mendy Henna painting ceremony. All the guests put on a sari, and the craftswomen painted their hands and feet with intricate patterns. When the body painting session ended, everyone went to the party. Famous Indian actors Shahrukh Khan, Akshay Kumar, and Aishwarya Rai performed there. Today, Amit Bhatia is 43 years old, and his wife, Venetia Mittal, is 41. Venetia didn't let marriage stop her from pursuing her career as a businesswoman. They have three children together, two sons and a daughter. Despite rumors of divorce, Amit and Venetia are happily married. They enjoy attending social events, relaxing and traveling together. Both look great and continue to live a luxurious life. Fairly, not every rich person wants to spend lots of money on a fancy wedding. Here's an example. Ajay Muno had saved up a lot for his daughter's wedding. Instead of spending it all on a grand celebration, he built 90 houses for homeless people. The houses were worth between $103,000 to $118,000 each. Marriages like these are rare. Even middle-class families spend money like crazy because of societal pressures. But people with meager incomes, too, want to spend their lifetime savings on marriages. These people can use their saved cash for a girl's marriage and dowry, but not for her undergrad degree. That's what hurts. Now, imagine you had $60 million. Would you use it for a wedding? Or would you consider a more impactful use for it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to O Channel for more. As always, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.